Alright, so to start off, I'm going to be using my uh, Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer all over my face, and I'm just going to blend that in. And then I'm going to go in with my new, I just bought this, the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. And this was a little too light for me, and so I just kind of had to work with it. I I used a lot of bronzer, um, <laughs> but it's okay. So I'm just blending that all in with a beauty blender. Uh, this was the first time I was using this foundation. I like it. It's it's like lightish, light to medium coverage, I think. All right, anyways, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and applying that under my eyes and then on any little blemishes I have. And then I'm going to go in with my Naked Skin Concealer, which was lighter than the Fit Me Concealer, and I'm applying a little bit under my eyes. And then everywhere else that you would like naturally highlight, so like forehead, chin, cupid's bow, stuff like that, and I'm just blending that all in. I'd like to apologize for my voice. It's really scratchy and like gross right now. I, I'm like, I feel like I'm low key sick, but it's also early in the morning, and so everything's just kind of a mess. Um, but anyways, I'm using the Park the Sculpt the Park the Tarte Sculptor in the shade Park Ave Princess. I'm on Facetime with my friend right now, and she's giving me the boy look, but it's early. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, anyways, I'm just blending that all out as one would when they put on contour. Now I'm sliding into my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I am just setting all of my face makeup and also um, using that to bronze my face a little more because when your foundation is a little bit too pale you just gotta kind of put everything everywhere to make it seem a little less pale. But anyways, yeah, I'm just blending that all into my face. And I'm just going to go do my brows off camera. If you want to see how I do my brows, I will leave my brow tutorial that I posted in my description box. Okay, anyways, now we're zooming in to do the eyes. And so I'm first priming my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pop. And then I'm going in to the star of the show, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm taking the shade Tempura. Tempura? Tempura. I think it's Tempura. And I'm setting my eyeshadow. And then I'm taking the shade Golden Ochre and I'm just blending that into the crease as our first transition shade. We're going to be building up with a lot of shadows today, so just be prepared. Alright, now I'm going into the shade Warm Taupe and I'm just applying that on top of where I applied Golden Ochre just to give it more depth and such. And next I'm going into the shade Raw Sienna, and I'm applying that on a different brush, it's slightly smaller, and I'm just also applying that into the crease a little bit lower. And this one's more of like an orange toned one, and we're just kind of like, yeah. Okay, anyways, now I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange, which is right next to Raw Sienna, and I'm applying that like in the crease, but also kind of all over the lid. You really don't have to do this, I don't know why I did this, I was just kind of feeling it, I really liked the color. Anyways, now I'm going back in and taking the shade Real Gert, and I'm taking that on an even smaller blending brush, and I'm just applying that into the crease, just to give it a little bit of like an orangey feel, because if you couldn't tell by the last two colors, we're kind of we're going in that direction today. And then I'm just taking a big blending brush with no product on it, and just blending everything out so that it is flawless and seamless and gorgeous. Alright, now on a flat shader brush, I'm going into the shade Primavera, which, fun fact, means spring in Spanish. Ha, 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 I dropped Spanish. Okay, anyways, I am taking that and applying that all over my lid, just because it's gorgeous, and yeah, I don't know why, why am I explaining myself? That's what I wanted to do. But anyways, now I'm taking the shades Love Letter and Venetian Red, and I'm taking that on a little flat, precise brush, and I'm applying that to the lower lash line. And just kind of press it in there right now as you can see what I'm doing we're gonna end up blending it out um, but then I'm also taking the shade Vermeer and I'm applying that to the inner third of the lower lash line and then also the inner corner of the eye just to kind of brighten it up a little bit and then I'm just going back in with golden Primavera not golden ochre Primavera and I am just applying that on to the lid with my finger just because when we blended the color kind of like bleh, a little bit all right now I'm taking on a pencil brush Buon Fresco, Buon Fresco, I don't really know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry, and I'm just blending out the lower lash line, 
And then on this small brush, I'm taking some of the soft ochre paint pot and I'm applying that to my lower lash line as like an eyeliner. And then I'm setting that with the temp tempera um, um, eyeshadow. And then I'm just going in with this Smashbox eyeliner. It's a brown eyeliner, but honestly, after I applied falsies, I went back in and put black eyeliner on my um, upper lash line area. I forget the name. Um, tight line, tight line, that's what it is. I'm sorry, I'm not awake. Um, but anyways, the lashes I used were the um, Velour Fluff and Cool Lashes. Alright, and now I'm just going in with this Too Faced blush. I don't know the name of it, but I'll link it in the description box, like, what I'm going to do with all my products. And now I'm going in with Champagne Pop, and sadly, mine broke, and it's really, like, fragile, but I'm still using it, because it's still gorgeous, and it still works. So I'm just applying that to the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and then, like, my cheekbones, anywhere you would usually highlight. And then lastly, I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita. And I'm just applying that to my lips to finish off the look. And that is the finished look, guys. I, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love you all and see you next time.